free AI voiceover for videos, podcasts, animations, or audiobooks. Realistic and diverse voices. Supports dozens of languages. In this video, we'll show you how we do it and how you can do it too. In the comments, people often ask how we create our voiceovers. Well, if you're curious, we'll show you step by step with all the details we've refined while voicing dozens of videos. As you've probably guessed, this is done in ChatGPT. While the voice feature was originally meant only for reading chat replies aloud, with our instructions, you can use it to create voiceovers for videos, podcasts, or audiobooks. ChatGPT voices sound natural, support many languages, and are completely free. By the way, this video was voiced the same way, though it might be the last time. Why? We'll explain in a moment. Now let's go through the whole process, from preparing the text to the final audio file. Attention! The link to the full text version of this guide, with all prompts, tips, and downloadable materials, is in the video description. Before you start creating the voiceover, set up the necessary tools. If you already use some of them, you can skip that step. If Chrome isn't installed on your PC, download and install it. Alternatively, you can use any other Chromium-based browser. Perform all the following steps in that browser. Open the ChatGPT Audio Saver page in the Chrome Web Store and click Add to Chrome. Confirm the installation when prompted. Make sure the extension icon is visible on your browser toolbar. If it's not there, open the Extensions menu and pin it to the toolbar. Go to the ChatGPT website and create an account. Start a new chat. Extension icons should appear next to ChatGPT's response. Download the CapCut editor and install it on your device. Split the text you want to voice into fragments. Ideally, each should contain one or two paragraphs connected by a single idea. Number these fragments. In the chat interface, click the user icon and select settings. In the general tab, set the spoken language and choose the voice that best fits your text. You can preview each one by clicking play. Create a new chat and enter the prompt from the guide as your first message. After chat GPT responds, paste the first text fragment. It will appear exactly as written. Download the voiceover by clicking the downward arrow icon. Listen to the generated audio. Black holes are the most mysterious objects in the universe. If the quality is good, rename the file according to the text fragment number. If you're not satisfied with the result, regenerate the last response. This will create a new version of the voiceover, allowing you to get several takes of the same fragment and choose the best one. By entering the text fragments one by one, you'll end up with matching audio files for each. After you've got all the files, you can combine them into a single audio track. Open CapCut and click Create Project. Select Import and choose all the generated files in your file explorer, or simply drag them into this area. After importing, place the files on the timeline in the correct order. If you renamed them by number earlier, they will automatically appear in the right sequence when added together. If needed, adjust the gaps between fragments. You can also split them into smaller parts to remove unnecessary sections or change their order. When you're done, export the project in your preferred format. If you're creating a video, you can continue editing by adding visuals and effects. As you can see, it's really simple. With this guide, you'll easily get results that other services usually charge for. But before you start, there's one important detail you should know. Let's talk about it. But first, if you find this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps its growth and motivates us to create more useful content. You'll also find our Telegram in the description. We post news, updates, and other helpful stuff there. And if you'd like to support us financially, use the link to buy me a coffee. And now, about the important detail mentioned earlier. The method shown here works well for fan projects, home videos, or personal experiments. 
However, according to OpenAI's documentation, the ChatGPT voice is not intended for commercial use. So far, this hasn't caused any problems, but it's hard to say what will happen next. That's why this is probably our last video made using this method. We're already testing other AI voiceover tools, including Eleven Labs. You'll find the link to it in the description. By the way, if you'd like a video about this service, let us know in the comments.